Hey, welcome to another show. Today I have my Paw Patrol friends here. They're going to help me out learning about coins. We're going to learn what each coin is worth, the different sizes and the shapes, and some fun facts to go along with it. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining us. Let's get started. Hey, Marshall, how you doing? Hey, Mr. Jeff, pretty good. So what coin did you bring us today? I brought you the penny. Mm. Here is the penny. The penny is worth one cent. It has the profile of President Lincoln. And on the reverse side is the Lincoln Memorial. On the side of the penny, it is very smooth. Today, it is mostly made up of copper-plated zinc. It's 97.5 zinc. It was the first U.S. coin to picture a president. Five pennies equal a nickel, 10 pennies equal a dime, 25 pennies equal a quarter, and 100 pennies equal a dollar. All right, Rebel, are you up next? Sure thing, Mr. Jeff, here it come. Wow, you look like you got a load of coins in yours. What do you have? I got the nickel. That's the next coin that we're going to be taking a look at. The front of the nickel has the third president, Thomas Jefferson. And on the back of the nickel is a picture of Thomas Jefferson's house in Virginia. The nickel coin has been made since 1938. It replaced the Indian head buffalo nickel. And here is what the Indian head buffalo nickel looks like. I have this in my coin collection and on the back. This is kind of a nice coin if you are collecting coins to have. Nickels are made out of nickel copper alloy, a mixture of metals, 75% copper and 25% nickel. The nickel is worth five cents, equal to five pennies. And on the side, it is very smooth and it is thicker than a penny. So here's a penny in comparison to the nickel right here. Two nickels equal a dime, five nickels equal a quarter, 20 nickels equal a dollar. All right, looks like Chase is coming on over. Hi, Chase. Hey, Mr. Jeff. Chase, what coin do we have today? I got the dime. All right, let's take a look at it. Here's the dime. It is small in size. It is thin in thickness and it has ridges right here. It has exactly 118 ridges to be exact. This is worth 10 cents. The front of the dime has a picture of Franklin Roosevelt. The back is a picture of a torch with an olive branch to the left and an oak branch to the right. Before 1965, the dime was made out of silver. Now it is made of 91.67% copper and 8.33% nickel. 10 dimes equal a dollar. So this is what a dime looks like so far. Here is a nickel and here is a penny. You'll see that the penny is smooth on the outside, the nickel is smooth on the outside, and the dime has the ridges, 118 ridges. Here comes Rocky. Hey, Rocky, how you doing? Oh, pretty good, Mr. Jeff. I brought you a coin. Well, what kind of coin did you get us? It's a quarter. Well, let's open up the back of your recycle truck. Wow, you brought us a lot of quarters there, Rocky. Let's take a look at them. And here we have the quarter. This is worth 25 cents. It is the biggest coin of our collection right here. And on the side, you can see that it also has ridges, 119 ridges to be exact. Now the quarter is made out of 91.67% copper and 8.33% nickel. Before 1965, it was made out of silver. The front of the quarter has a picture of George Washington. And on the other side is the presidential coat of arms, an eagle with outstretched wings. And I have some other quarters in my collection. 
and they have different states on the back of them that they represent. So a collector will probably looking for all 50 states. There is the state of Minnesota. Woohoo! That's where we are from right now. New Mexico and Ohio. So here are the different coins in my collection right now. I have the penny, which is worth one cent, the nickel, which is worth five cents, the dime, this is 10 cents, and the quarter, which is worth 25 cents. Now you can see the different sizes. The dime is the smallest of the coin. Then we have the penny, the nickel, and the quarter is the largest. You also see that on the penny, it is smooth here. The nickel is smooth, a little bit thicker in, di thick in thickness. The dime has these little ridges. And the quarter also has the ridges right there. Now we have some other coins uh, that I quickly want to show in our collection. We have uh, what is a 50 cent piece. And here is a dollar coin. This is from 1976. And then the Susan B. Anthony came out, and that is also worth one dollar. And as you can see, the Susan B. Anthony is almost the same size as the quarter. So you can imagine that there was some confusion sometimes that people thought that they were giving away quarters, and it was actually a dollar. All these coins have printed on them, In God We Trust. According to History.com, it mentions in 1956, two years after pushing to have the phrase under God inserted in the Pledge of Allegiance, President Dwight D. Eisenhower signs a law officially declaring In God We Trust to be on the nation's official model. So this was kind of a fun fact. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show today. And thanks a lot, Paw Patrol, for helping me out. It was a lot of fun learning about these coins. One idea is that you could take coins, a penny, a nickel, a dime, and a quarter, put those in your pocket, and then one by one, try to feel and figure out what coin you have. Feel along to see if it has ridges. Remember, only a dime and a quarter has ridges, and a quarter would be bigger. And then the penny and the nickel. Between the penny and the nickel, they're both smooth on the side, but the nickel is bigger than the penny, and also in thickness. Hey, before you leave, make sure you check out the other videos I have on my channel. I have some great videos on 3D shapes. We have videos talking about two-digit subtraction with regrouping, uh, using uh, uh, patterns, you name it, we got it here. Also, a fun drawing program on here. So please, Check out the video, subscribe, and like always, have a fun day. Bye-bye.